Folks, welcome to the abandoned mystery house. Um, I've had so many views of this, uh, the video I done the last time, that I decided to come back and call this unfinished business because uh, the last time I didn't go upstairs. So today we're going to go upstairs and have a look around. I'm sorry that this is going in and out of focus, but uh, um, if you haven't seen the last video, this is a modern house and something I didn't see the last time was uh, uh, there's a, a calendar on the wall from 2014, so uh, um, it was abandoned some, some time after that. Um, a lot of the belongings were just left uh, in the house, uh, thrown about. There is a lot of damage. And this is the kitchen area, with a nice uh, wooden beam here. And uh, all, you know, uh, top quality tiles, top quality doors, and, and top quality fittings. Yeah. I mean, and this was a top eight house. Downstairs bathroom with uh, an area for uh, a washing machine and utility room, you know. Uh, some of the areas here will be a little bit dark because the weather is not great outside. So uh, please bear with me. This is the uh, the main hall area. This is one of the bedrooms. Um, and the sad thing is, you know, there's a lot of uh, children's toys uh, littered around the property, both inside and out. Um, don't like their choice of uh, wall colours but uh, it's a top end house uh, big massive shower that's knocked over um, here is uh, a bit of uh, ceiling damage there's actually floor damage above that as well it's gone straight through but it's actually in a, an attic storage area so that is not that's what I was afraid of the last time I was here um, and that's why I didn't want to go upstairs. But uh, the main downstairs bathroom, there's a, a wee cabinet or a wee piece of furniture. This is the uh, other part of the hallway to the front door. Um, when I seen this house at first, I was just shocked um, with the amount of uh, you know, I mean, this is a top end house. It's got hot tub and it's got a large bar area at the back. Um, and I will show that to you in a few minutes. But uh, the uh, mold is starting to come in. Um, I found this house by accident um, while I was out having a drive and saw that the uh, doors were left open. Uh, the windows are smashed and because there was access I decided to have a look around um, and you know this is a, it, it's a modern house and uh, why it's been left like this I just don't know and that's why I call it the mystery house the abandoned mystery house there is evidence that uh, there is cleaning up going on outside as you can see toys left around built in cabinets and wardrobe the mould is coming in here as well
Um, this is one of the bedrooms and I'm going to show you what's on the other side of it. Um, I'm sorry that it's very dark, but there's nothing to see, only a mattress and a few bits and pieces of debris. But you open the door out to a wooden area out here and you've got your hot tub. Which is a little wooden room that comes off the bedroom area there. And it, it's it's very nicely put together, you know. Um, you got your electricity here, uh, fairy lights. And uh, and the hot tub itself. I'm sure. I'm sure something like this is very very expensive. You got controls here. And here is the decision a, a wee cushion area for your neck, and you can sit and relax. More controls over there, and uh, sliding windows. You can uh, you can open the windows and 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 be open to the elements if it's it's summertime, um, like like so, you know. You just open it up, and that's uh, just uh, it's not glass. It's uh, it's plastic. It's PVC or perspex. Um, last time I was here there was a lot of rubbish and there still is a lot of rubbish although somebody is starting to clean up things here so uh, but uh, and that uh, cover over there is the cover for uh, the cover for the hot tub and to keep in the heat you know when not in use There's the uh, the plumbing for the hot tub. So, oh yes, the bar area is next. Back into the dark bedroom. You see, there's no uh, there's no actual window to this because uh, it was a it's that uh, double door, and they added the wooden. Uh, the wooden um, area out there, wooden roofed area there for the um, the actual uh, hot tub. The bathroom. So it's smashed up. You know, if you go to abandoned areas, folks, a lot of lot of people um, go in and, and do damage. You know, and that that leaves nothing for people to explore. You know, and that's why when I go into a place, I just leave it the way it is. You know, sitting room. Hallway to the front door. Now, up the stairs. Last time I got to the top of this, and then I said, No, I can smell damp in here. Um, when you're in very old buildings, folks, just be careful um, of rotting floorboards and stuff like that. That's one of the biggest fears, and that's where you can get hurt. To the right of your picture here is uh, two storage areas for uh, putting uh, you know bed clothes and things. To the left is a ensuite bathroom. I have to climb over this with a shower skylight. 
there's where the loo was. And uh, bath. And the door we came in, it, it's the communal door from the hallway so that everybody can share. And then, you know, you can have, this is another bedroom with no, uh, it's just the, the chipboard floor. Um, there's no, uh, there's no flooring on this at all, you know, so, uh, um, and there's the entrance to the bathroom. If you wanted an ensuite, you could lock the other door or whatever, you know, but uh, throughout the house, all solid wood doors, you know, um, a little storage area for putting things in. I'm actually finding it very difficult to breed. I, I'm, I'm breeding in dust. You know, uh, you know, remnants of toys around here. This is a damaged area. I'm not going to go walk through there. I'm going to walk through the area where there's a wooden floor here. And further in there, this is a storage area right here. And then there's another door to the corners of the attic. So more storage in there. I have to try and put some wood here. That is the damage that's gone down to the uh, bathroom downstairs. Just walking on more chipboard here. Here the furniture is all left in, it's all black. Uh, wardrobe, corner unit, and it looks like it's been uh, especially made or whatever adapted for it. And a little desk area over here. So, you know, I can't remember how many. There must be six bed around six bedrooms in this house. There's another bedroom down here. I guess three upstairs, three downstairs. Uh, Walking wardrobes there. And then again, and again, um, top uh, quality uh, solid wood doors throughout. Another little desk area here. I don't have a wee desk like that at a window. Plenty of light, you know. And um, this area, is, this uh, camera's going in and out of focus because it's struggling for light, so apologies for that. I'm gonna go back downstairs, folks. Now, when, when you're in abandoned places and you think the uh, the uh, stairs is a bit sketchy. The, the steps are connected on each side with a piece pieces of wood that's upwards. So that is the strongest point. So you put your feet at the corners like this and just go down like that. You put your foot in the middle, it will bend. This is where the uh, loading points of the stairs are. So, uh, you know, and this one is not too bad. There was a, there's a little bit of a bend, but it's just because it's a little bit damp. You know, it is a modern house and it's not rotten, it's just damp. I need to get outside, folks. Right, last look at the kitchen before we go to the bar. Right. I 
can taste dust, folks. Yeah, with six, one, two, three bedrooms down here, three upstairs. And I don't know what this is. I think it's a play area, folks, for kids, you know. A nice play, play place for the children. And there we have a conservatory. With the furniture still here. And a telly. And uh, the blinds. And the ceiling. And the reason why, uh, uh, you know, when I seen these doors, th these doors open, these doors are to the front of the building. I was thinking, what the, f what's going on here, like? Why would you leave a place open like this? Oh, outside is the, uh, the boiler house. Unlike the last time, the last time I left my car outside the door, so I was kind of, uh, I was kind of uh, a bit wary of, there's a, a broken wall here that I just squeezed through. Um, I was a bit wary because I left the, I left the car right outside the door. Uh, today I left it uh, further up the road, so not to cause suspicion, which I really should be in here. But uh, this area is the bar. And it's a vast room, you can hear the echo. I don't remember that window being broke the last time. You know. But, uh, there's a bar counter. And put your drinks and stuff in there. What's this all about? Owner's manual, a Honda generator. Bill. May 2011. But, uh, the colors are we the colors in the walls are a bit not to my taste but uh overall when you when you see the size of the property, six bedrooms, this massive bar area, hot tub area, uh, a big garden outside, uh, a shed outside as well that's tiled. You know, it's, 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 it's pretty. It's pretty good property, like. Uh, this is the outside, but there is evidence of uh, somebody cleaning up. Oh, cool. There's huh. our hot tub. And the cover. Just, uh, when you're walking through crap like this, just be careful of nails and glass, folks. A lot of this, this soil wasn't here the last time. I don't know what is uh, going on there because there's big uh, piles of soil in the front driveway too. So I, I just don't know what what's going on there. P 
people coming in and dumping stuff. I thought it was people cleaning up, but it's just people dumping stuff. shed area which is tiled and everything separate from the house and another room in here you know it could be office space or something you know and a small room in there which is too dark to go in and see walls in the process of being lined. I haven't paused this camera at all folks. I went from one ear to the other because I just wanted to see what I was seeing and exploring at that same time but uh, there we go folks the abandoned mystery house and its grounds Hope you enjoyed it folks, see you in the next video and as always be good to each other folks.